you might be wondering how to speed up your slow WinForms apps. Don't worry. I'll share all my experience and knowledge with you for sure. Before I say anything else, this video is highly textual. Be patient and watch as this has a lot of helpful tips. Let's continue. First I am going to split the video into two categories. 1. Application Runtime. 2. Application Startup Time. And we'll also explain each category in detail. Be patient. Category 1. Application Runtime. It's generally the most important area where developers create dynamic controls for better UI and lose the performance. Tip 1. Use Add Range in place of Add. For example, I made an app while making my Music Player version 5 where I was looking for various ways to speed up dynamic controls adding. I'll share that video to show you the difference in time cause of using controls.add range. So you saw controls add took about 3 to 4 times extra time than total time of controls add range. Tip 2, save reusable data for future use. Sometime, we generate data during runtime with the help of heavy coding and don't save them. On reuse of app in future, we again process the whole thing for the data earlier used. So, it's always better to save data generated by application during runtime which can be used in future. You can consider using text file or XML file. Results will be shown after tip 3 in a video showing both tip 2 and tip 3 output. Tip 3, use of smart shift image class to load image. To get shift image class, read the description for the details. We were fed up slow loading of images during runtime while using image from file and we started researching to get a faster method. And we were lucky to find solution. The method used in shift image class is copyright to DG Tech Web Consultants, LLC in 2004. The method removes all unwanted coding to make things way too fast. Just watch the video to experience how fast it is when you use save data from XML file and shift image class. Saw how fast it is when I use save data from XML file and shift image from file in place of image from file. Simply 5 times faster. Tip 4, dispose your graphics resources. Most of the times, developers forget to use graphics dispose. If you are performing custom drawing, dispose all your used pens, brushes, image slash bitmap and other graphic resources once you are done with them. You can even try using statement which will avoid use of dispose but is still slower than dispose. Tip 5, don't set back color to transparent. Transparent color is illusion and it's actually not transparent color. It first performs a paint call on parent control and it paints its own location's background on itself to make its background look transparent. Hence it makes it too slow and results in reduced performance. So what to do? Try creating own paint algorithm or set it to some solid colors, same back color of parent control to make it look like transparent. Tip 6, use string builders in place of string during runtime. String builder.append is much 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 faster than use of end or plus on string. Let me show you results. Cool right? Ok next one is related to this one only. Tip 7, never reuse string builder after use of this string. use of 
gradients. Irrespective of whether linear or radial use of gradient is slow. I know that looks awesome but what to do? It's too slow. If you get rid of that, you'll see much better performance. Tip 9, use background workers. Whenever developers interact with me through mails I always advise them to use background workers. As this will not stop slash aim the application and annoy the user. It also gives an illusion to the user that the application is really fast. Tip 10, hide unwanted controls. Parent controls with many child controls must set visible to false when not required. This avoids handling the child and parent controls unnecessarily. Tip 11, save image as thumbnails and use them. Rather than speaking much, let me show the video which is self-explanatory. Exceptions. Throwing exceptions can be very expensive, so make sure you don't throw a lot of them. For better view, use performance counters to check the results. Tip 13, keep option strict and option explicit on. With this, you'll protect yourself from inadvertently finding and enforce higher level of discipline. Start with option explicit on and turn on option strict. This will make your coding easier as well. What next? Category 2, Application Startup Time. Tip 1, shift possible code from form.load to new. Make sure you type those code after initialize components. Tip 2, add splash screen. It's always better to add splash screen to your app as you can do all the coding after the application is visible and also show the progress which will make the user believe something is going on rather than just double clicking icon and waiting. In addition to this tip, if you use tip 3, it's the most powerful. Tip 3, use background workers. This is the only tip common in both runtime and startup time as it's most powerful and useful thing. With the help of background workers you can show the progress and make sure that the app doesn't hang. Tip 4, reduce modules. Tip 5, remove unused references. Both of them are self-explanatory. That's the only reason I merged them. I don't want to drag time on that let me go to next tip. Tip 6, delay control creation. If you load all the controls on load, that will make the application start slow and handles more controls during runtime. Delay it till it's requested or demanded. Unlike WPF, each control has its own handle property. Which is major drawback of WinForms. Tip 7, use refresh, update and invalidate wisely. We'll add a link in the description for this read for explanation. Tip 8, use begin update and end update. Use them when you are adding multiple items to trees, grids and other controls that supports this. Tip 9, use suspend layout and resume layout. This is useful during layout changes of multiple controls. Layout changes are caused by changes in bounds, size, location, visible or text of label with auto size. Just suspend layout of parent before changes and resume layout to force resume all pending layouts. We'll add links related to this for more details on this. Tip 10, pre-compile your assemblies using NGEN. We'll add links related to this as well for details on this.